Welcome back to Design With Me, Ashley D. Today we are going to our magical vacation home again. Uh, this time we are staying at a different home. It's a nine bedroom house with two game rooms. It also has a pool, a hot tub, and a movie theater. It's the same setup except for this time we get one extra bedroom. So you guys are in for a treat today, so stay tuned. Okay, so we are coming up to the gates here. You have to check in and all the guests check in on the left hand side right here. Okay, so once you come into the security gates, this is what the neighborhood looks like. Turn left onto White Marsh Way. You have Turn left onto houses White and townhomes down that way. You have houses over here. And we are going to turn onto uh, this first street. Look at those high gorgeous ceilings. Laundry room, you get a sink, you get a washer, a dryer. Looks like they have an ironing board, extra pool towels. Oh wow, and then off of the laundry room is the first game room. And there's two entrances to the game room. I think the light is right there beside you, Paul. And I mean, it's got arcade machines. You got your PS5s, Xboxes. Looks like you have, um, what is that? Ping pong table, basketball, foosball table. And then you have an extra TV up above. All right, and then here's some of the kitchen. I came in from this angle because I wanted to turn lights on so you all could see it. Uh, so this one looks like it comes with um, a rice, it looks like a rice cooker. Um, that looks like a toaster. It comes with a Keurig and a regular coffee. Then you have all of your cabinetry. And then, ooh, look at this fridge. This fridge is huge. how big that is, how pretty that is. And then here's another little cabinet wine area nook. And they got some nice decorative pairs on top of there. And then you get two tables uh, with seating for eight at each table. baby seat nice little decorative table there and I'll try to get some wide angle shots of this as well um, we're coming up on the den area and you have two long l-shaped couches and then there's a nicer picture of 
the kitchen. And then going down the hallway, here is the TV with a nice cabinet. And then I'll give you guys a tour of the pool area. But there's the big, nice windows. Is the master, master bedroom. It is beautiful. Hi guys, big TV. And you also have a desk there, a beautiful sitting area. And you also have another view here with, looks like the shades might be retractable. Yeah, or no, not retractable, but they do have, um, they do have a little. Okay, so they do have this little notch right here that shuts the blinds and opens them. The window. Okay, so y'all, this is the, the side closest to the bathroom and the master. And then, oh my goodness, look at this. Look at that chandelier, look at that tub. Look at that bathroom. <laughs> Off to the bathroom, you do have a closet with organizing shelves in there. A luggage rack. They do have a fan, extra pillows, extra towels. And then on this side, you have your little toilet closet. And then, oh my goodness, look at this tub in the center of here. This is so gorgeous. This looks hotel-esque, hotel right? Especially the vanities. And you get two big, huge vanities on both sides. And I'll get closer up on the fixtures and everything for y'all. So you get this towel bar right here on this side to the right. Um, you get a vase. This is decorated really nice, whoever came through and did this. It looks like you get a toothbrush holder, you have an outlet. There's your sink and it has a push drain. Then there's your light fixtures on either side of this big mirror. And you also get a lot of natural light with that window being up above. You get a towel bar and then look at this shower. Like you could fit 10 people in this shower. <laughs> there are the dogs for the shower. Uh, there is a soap inlet. And then there's all of your different hardware for your showers. It looks like it comes out everywhere, right? It looks like it's a double shower. Two people could take a shower at the same time. That's what this looks like. I think that's the setup for it. If I'm wrong, shower gurus, let me know. Um, you do get a bunch of, in the vanity, big drawers. Nice big deep drawers to store things and they get deeper as you go down. Nice soft clothes. Off of the den is another little sitting area and it's right across from this island here. And then here is your powder room on the main level and it's right behind the master bedroom. It's decorated really nice. I, I love this little nook. I've never seen a little nook in a bathroom like this before. That's really nice. Coming back down this hallway again, uh, you get two benches. There's one and there's two and then there's that game room again. The kids are already in there enjoying themselves. So that's the front door. And then you get two bedrooms off of the front door. So we're gonna go inside of door number two over here. Okay, so this is the first bedroom. You get a nice bed, two nightstands. Uh, you also get a TV, dresser, you get a chair. And then this is the closet. It comes with an organizer, lots of hangers. Uh, you also get a luggage rack, extra towels up there. I would have to get a step stool to get all the way up there. <laughs> This is the bathroom, double vanity sink. You get a hair dryer. Uh, you also get you also get drawers, and these look like they get deeper, deeper as you go. And they're also soft clothes. And there is the bottom drawer, soft clothes. 
the toiletries you get. Looks like they start you off with the cleansing bar. They start you off with conditioner. Um, they also have um, this gel, bath gel looks like. There's the soap, cleansing bar soap. And then of course your toilet. And then you get a nice walk-in shower. And it also has a seat or a bench in the back for you to sit down and take a shower. Okay, and here we are going in door number one. This is the first bedroom off, off to the left when you first come in. This also comes with a TV and a nice dresser. Um, we have two chairs in this room. Look how tall the ceilings are. Um, you also get a bed, um, nice comfortable bed, um, two dressers, big huge closet, again, extra towels, linens, everything. Looks like there might be a pack and play up to the top at the right. Um, this one you also get that same hair dryer, double vanity sinks, uh, toothbrush holder, got some nice decorative stuff in the center there. Uh, same thing, I'm not gonna show you guys, this is the same thing with the drawers and underneath the countertops there. Uh, this one, you get, looks like a larger bench area to sit in and take your shower. So this one has, looks like it has a little bit bigger of a shower. So it's nice, really nice walk-in shower. And you also get natural lighting in this bathroom as well. A moment to admire these floors. I'm loving the floors in this bathroom. Okay, so back down this hallway again. You've seen everything at this point on the first floor. So we're gonna go ahead and head up the stairs to the second floor. Big treats. So you got one long hallway down that way and then we got a long hallway down this way. I can't wait to show you guys the Hogwarts room. Um, so you get a bench out here waiting for platform nine and three quarters. You have the suitcases there and everything waiting for the Hogwarts Express. I wonder can we uh, get through the wall right there and go to platform nine and three quarters. You think they're gonna let us through? This is the movie theater room and they have a nice little wet bar area. Microwave for your popcorn, cabinets. Uh, they even have a sink up here. Looks like they have, I don't know if that's a mini fridge or a wine fridge, I can't tell from here. Um, they also have cabinets. Okay, and then once you come in, oh my God, I'm loving whoever decorated this house really did their thing with the decoration, y'all. So, um, so it looks like you get a cabinet up at the front. Um, it's got all the remotes and things. Um, you get your big movie theater screen. They have three huge, huge bing bags, bing bag chairs. And then these are the movie theater seats. And it looks like it has enough seating for it. Nine people can sit in these uh, chairs, but it looks like they have enough seating for, for 12, including the bean bags. They have Moulin Rouge poster, The Hunger Games, great movie. Harry and the Goblet of Fire, I gotta get around to seeing that. <laughs> and then there's your projection. Okay, so I'm not sure what kind of piece this is, but I thought it was cool. It looks like a um, some kind of older bag that they have in a frame there, that's pretty cool. Okay, so um let's go into this next game room this place is awesome it's got two game rooms okay so um there's the cue sticks for the pool table chair table combination there's the pool table it even has an air hockey table there's another table over there another little game looks like pac-man over there in the corner and it looks like we're on the front side of the house and there might be a balcony. I'll take you guys out there a little later. So that we have some more arcade games. Looks like there is a race car game. Um, there's also the Arcade of Legends with different games on there. Oh, they have a Star Wars Trilogy arcade. And they even have little ice ball or ski ball. And then of course you have your TV there. So I will probably be spending a lot of time uh, between the two arcades along with the pool. This is beautiful. 
So we have the next room here that's right outside of the arcade room. This is the workout room. It has a treadmill. It also has free weights, a mirror, and that looks like a, um, a workout mat that they have down there. So you do get a little workout room in this house. Here we are. We got on the Hogwarts Express on platform nine and three quarters. Now we're at the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. <laughs> so they have the bunk beds. And it looks like they have a total of six. And you can get up there in the center. They have another little suitcase over there. And there's our action star, Harry Potter on the wall. And there are the other bunk beds. And it looks like they have storage underneath each set of bunk beds. Yeah, they have storage underneath each set. And then they also have curtains. I'm not sure if these move or not, if they're for decoration. Okay, yeah, they're just for decoration. Ooh, and then this looks interesting. This little bookshelf right here it looks like it opens up into something. So we're gonna explore what's behind this door right here. So I wanted to show you all this. Corey's gonna be my little helper with this. It's actually a hidden room behind this bookshelf. You have your bathroom, double vanity sinks, double mirrors. And then these are some pictures. They're supposedly supposed to be talking pictures, but I don't see any movements from them yet. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh. And it looks like some more storage. And then you have stairs. Are you gonna go up the stairs, Leah? You have stairs, it looks like, that go up to a little room. So we're gonna follow Leah on up to this room here. Go ahead. And there's some more cool book things. Some more Harry Potter. Oh, they got everything. Some more Harry Potter trinkets. A lot of attention to detail, I will say, went into decorating this house. And it looks like they have two beanbag, oops, sorry. It looks like they have two beanbag chairs. Um, they also have an Xbox, a TV. Are you on the beanbag? Yeah. Now adults, I will say, Shorter adults can stand up here, but if I would say if you're taller than about five, six, you're probably not gonna be able to stand up comfortably in here. Oh, okay, that's another way to turn it off. All right, so it's two bean bags, it's an Xbox, and a TV up here. It's TV up here. All right, back down the stairs we go. Okay, so let's see what's behind these doors. Ooh, it's a closet and it's got extra linens, towels, and bedding. And there's Hedwig up there above. Show you all this first room off of the steps. This is the princess room. This is where Aaliyah's gonna wanna come and spend majority of her time. Yeah, princess room. So this room has a TV as well. And this room has a total of four 
beds. Look at this mirror. Okay, you want to open the doors? Go open the doors. Okay. Oh, you're strong. So these doors open up into Woo. this so shared area. Crazy. Yeah, so pretty, the shared area that we went over. So it's like a Jack and Jill into the boys room. Okay, come over this way, baby. Thank you. All right, so here's the closet, the princess closet. Same thing, extra linens, a fan. And then here is the royal bathroom. And they gave the princesses lots and lots of toiletries. They got shampoo, mineral bath, conditioner. Uh, oh, and then look at this ceiling. The ceiling lights up with stars at night. That's beautiful. But yes, a lot of attention to detail in this room. An extra set of washer and dryers up here, an ironing board and an iron, fire extinguisher. Then there's a little nook to the steps below. Then there is dresser area, mirror combo, sitting area. Then off to the side of that, is a powder room. Mm -hmm. Off to the left of that bench, we have another mirror and another room. Ooh, this room is huge. I wonder who's staying in here. <laughs> you have a TV, beautiful TV. Oh, I love this bed, beautiful bed. Beautiful side tables. And you also have a sitting area in this room as well. Beautiful sitting area in this room. And it looks like it also has a balcony. Oh, it does. Okay, I'll take you guys out there later. Beautiful balcony, beautiful room. And I'm just admiring the artwork in the ceiling in this room, right? Look at that. Hey, okay, here's the hallway for the bathroom. Off to the left, you have this gorgeous closet, organizational space, extra linens, a fan, luggage rack, hangers. Then over this way, you have your toilet closet. Here is the rest of that bathroom. Gorgeous tub. Looks like you have a walk-in shower with a bench. Rainfall shower head, double vanity sinks, hair dryer. Okay, so on down the hall this way, we have more rooms. We have this room. And the bathroom in this one is off to the left. Double vanity sinks again. This one has a toilet. Walk-in shower, they love the walk-in shower thing. Theme in this house, walk-in shower. They also have a hair dryer. Toothbrush holder, soap holder. All of your extra little toiletries. 
shampoo, body gel, conditioner for your hair. Then it looks like they have a sitting area right by the TV. You actually get a balcony view with this one as well, a shared balcony. Seating right in front of the bed. And you get your closet with your organizers in it. So on down the hallway here, we're gonna go into this room to the right. This is bedroom eight of nine. Then it has seating over there by the wall. There's the closet. Looks like it has a pack and play in this closet. So they have plenty, plenty of pack and plays for anyone that's bringing small children. Double vanity sink. Hair dryer in this one. Some more of that walk-in shower rainfall shower head action toilet and the one thing I do like about um, magical vacation homes is they do supply you with your first roll of toilet tissue and then they do now since COVID put the strips over the toilet to let you know that they've cleaned them all right so right across the hall here is bedroom nine of nine on the left here you get a beautiful, big full closet. This closet is huge. Then you get, then you get again, another bathroom with a double vanity sink. Toilet, rainfall shower head, shower and a hair dryer. And Miss Aaliyah is gonna finish the tour out with us. Double nightstand, there's a sitting area in the front. <laughs> TV. You gonna say hi? Hi. You tired? <laughs> and then here is the other end. the other end of the balcony. About screened in balcony. So there is the pool. There's a little lazy river that goes behind those two chairs down there. There is your spa. There's a sitting area. Let's go around the pool some more over to this side. So that area screened in. This area looks like it. Oh, it's a retractable screen. So the screens actually go up and down around all sides actually of the balcony and there are the other rooms chairs door so yeah there's a view of the pool then there's a little water spout over there looks like there's a fire pit in the back more seating over to the left The kids cannot wait to get in this pool, y'all. They've been talking about this pool all day. And I, can you blame them? Look at this. <laughs> While you're enjoying these last few views by the pool, I just wanted to let you guys know that I appreciate you all tuning in week after week and for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video today, don't forget to uh, give me a thumbs up or a like for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for part 
um, one of this video, which is actually my vlog, where I vlog our stay in Orlando. I just did this video uh, so you all could get a tour of the house and that my vlog video wouldn't be super long. Because uh, as you can see, this house tour took uh, about 30 minutes here. Uh, so like I said, thank you so much for tuning in and for watching my video. And I will see you all next time. Thank you.